Hello, I'm Dr. Rhonda Johnson. Today is Wednesday, June 12th, 2024. Today I'm talking about COVID infection during pregnancy. Now my source of information comes from an online article by Cleveland Clinic. And here are the key takeaways from this article, in my opinion. While there are risks, it's important to know that most pregnant people who get COVID-19 currently experience mild symptoms and fully recover from their infection. Now, it's important to contact your pregnancy care provider as soon as you uh, get a positive at-home COVID test or if you think you have symptoms of COVID because they can best help you manage your symptoms and determine if you need to seek additional care. So how do you prevent COVID infection during pregnancy? Well, I think we know how to do that. Wearing a mask, staying away from large events and crowds with poor ventilation, washing your hands, staying away from sick people, and getting uh, making sure you're up to date with your COVID-19 vaccines. Those are the best protections against COVID infection and severe complications from COVID. Now, who's at risk for higher complications uh, for severe illness due to COVID if you're pregnant? Well, people who have ongoing medical conditions such as diabetes or high blood pressure or heart disease or who are overweight or obese. So remember, most pregnant people have mild symptoms of COVID and have a low risk of severe complications. Now, there is a difference if you have moderate or severe COVID infection, meaning you need oxygen, you need hospitalization, uh, or you need supplemental breathing assistance, your uh, risk of obstetric-related complications may increase your risk of preeclampsia, hypertensive disorders during pregnancy, uh, blood clots, heavy bleeding after birth, prematurity, low birth weight, uh, fetal growth restriction are higher uh, if you have moderate to severe COVID infection. Also, there's an unknown risk of stillbirth, meaning the rate of stillbirth is increasing, but doctors are still determining what that looks like. Now, again, these complications tend to be highest in the third trimester, but I keep emphasizing this, the overall chance of having a severe obstetric complication uh, during pregnancy due to COVID is still quite low. Now, can the SARS-CoV-2, the virus that causes COVID, cross the placenta? The chances of transmitting COVID to the fetus uh, through placental transmission are low, although it is possible for the virus to cross the placenta. So I hope that that's helpful. I continue to see um, uptake of my last COVID and pregnancy related video, which was I made in October of last year. People continue to look at that, so I thought I would do an update. Uh, I will include a link for your information. Take care, folks, and be well.